Going to do a quick update on some mechanic work that's going on here at home. I've got the truck jacked up, drive shaft down, and the back end of the transmission off. The transmission shop that I found, uh, thanks to a friend of mine, is uh, real close by. And it's old school type of guy, kind of like me in a way, except he does nothing but driveline work. And he has his, his shop there. I mean, this is not a guy that wears a science smock and, and uh, gloves and glasses and all of that stuff. He just does what he needs to do when he needs to do it. And he answers all kinds of questions and enjoys uh, discussing the work. And that's the kind of guy I like to work with. Anyway, can't really see I'm up here. Let me slide underneath here to show what I'm getting into. <sighs> Had to take the auxiliary box off the transmission, or maybe I didn't have to. Uh, the guy at the shop thought, well, there's a real good chance that it is this... Uh, the synchronizer deal between the main box and the auxiliary but we're not finding the problem there he says don't put that back on yet he says the next step he says what I should have done was had somebody else standing outside the truck get the truck all blocked up where it can't move and uh, and torque it and make it slip like it was doing and he says because he says it's going to make the same noise, but you got to find out where it's coming from. Is it the transmission? Is it the carrier bearing where the slip yoke is? Or is it, I don't know what it's called, but this box here where the drive shaft goes in the first differential. He says this would be the next step. Because I'm reasonably sure it's not the carrier bearing. I will look into it. But uh, not the bearing itself because I replaced that, but the uh, slip yoke right at it. Um, I'll look into that, find out if that's it or not. But um, the next step is going to be to take this this uh, little thing here off this pinion thing. He says there's another uh, splined deal in there with small splines that will strip out. And, and they make the same noise. He says you can't tell the difference by driving it. You have to have someone outside to find that where the source of the noise is. So going in here to the shop. This is the auxiliary box. And I'll get into detail on another video about what he taught me and what to find. And... Uh, how we know that it's not this but I'm not going to be able to put this back on the way I took it off I used the big transmission jack to get it down and really didn't have room to work and I was really fighting with it and then there was no way to mount the thing properly and it was getting front heavy as I pulled it out and so there are some tricks to putting this thing back in that if you don't follow them you get in big trouble and he shared all of that with me so what I'm going to end up doing, I think, instead of the big transmission jack that weighs 300 pounds and takes up a lot of space, I'm going to use this new one I bought uh, last year when I did the clutch. I bought this from Harbor, Harbor Freight, and I made an adapter to hold the clutch. That's my old clutch. I'm going to make another adapter to hold this unit. And this thing... I don't know what it weighs. I didn't put it on a scale. I got no business trying to lift it. Although I did. I did lift it and did get it off the ground. But I'm, I'm not going to stand up with it. The thing weighs way more than I do. I, I don't know what it weighs. I probably will bring a bass scale out and try to wiggle the thing onto the scale and get an idea. But it's, it's in the 200 pound neighborhood. Um, I'll find out what it weighs and, and uh, put that on the next video I think. So, yeah, I'm going to make an adapter. I'll probably do a video on that for those that know how to weld and want some ideas on how to make adapters to put on these jacks 
for lifting things like this. But yeah, there's going to be several tricks involved in putting this thing back together. And uh, I'm really glad I found this guy and he showed me how to do this stuff. So cause he showed me with all of his junk piles of stuff outside. That's what we're getting into now. So uh, I'm going to wind this up because I've got a couple of days of work to do. Um, had to get the motorcycle out of the shop so I got room to work and it's just sitting over there next to that junk car that somebody left. I don't really like it being out in the weather with the new paint job, the sun. But it's new, you know. I don't think the sun's going to hurt it sitting out there for a few days. But uh, that's what's going on here. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.